Now the latest developments on a collision between a train and a tractor trailer. We first told you about the crash on Eyewitness News at 11 last night. The driver of the truck was rushed to the hospital, and now investigators are working to figure out what caused the crash. Today, we're speaking with an Eyewitness News viewer and an eyewitness who watched the crash happen from the window of her home. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is at the scene. He has the very latest now from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. Danielle, good afternoon. Well, of course, very dark here on scene last night. So now that the sun is up, a look at where this all unfolded. Providence and Worcester Railroad workers at Woonsockets River and Fairmount Streets Thursday in and around a signal box after a train vehicle collision before 10 o'clock Wednesday night. Eyewitness News reached out to PNW. The company sent us a statement before this newscast. It reads in part. A PNW southbound freight train reported striking a tractor trailer occupying the grade crossing near River and Fairmount streets on the company's main line. Railroad and public safety officials immediately responded to the scene. The driver of the vehicle was transported to Rhode Island Hospital. An investigation into the cause of the incident is currently underway. Eyewitness Jessica Salvis told us on scene the truck came down very street, stopped at the bottom. The driver thought he could make it, misjudged the situation. Contact flipping the tractor trailer. Uh, the train started blowing its horn about five, ten minutes before it even hit the truck. As for the tractor trailer's driver, he walked to the stretcher. He walked to the stretcher. He got out and walked to the stretcher. We took a look at the layout in daylight. Lights and arms exist on both sides of the tracks on River Street, on Fairmount, and very only lights. A good deal of heavy vehicles on this stretch in a mixed industrial residential area. And I just spoke with a PNW official who says that train was carrying mixed freight, approximately 34 cars. We are also in touch with the Federal Railroad Administration. Of course, when we learn more, we will pass it along to all of you. But live in Woonsocket this noontime with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Planter, Eyewitness News.